For example, you hear do, you hear that, that continuous tone. That's made by millions of cicadas doing this. Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Literally, that's what they do. Now we hear something unusual. That's the third of the three cicada species and hardest to hear because it gets drowned out later. That's called Magicicada septendecula. And they're like shakers doing a rhythm. The easiest to hear is one called Magicicada cassini. An individual goes kind of noisy. But then when you have millions of them, they synchronize in waves of noise. Some people, of course, think I'm crazy. Like, what, what is this? It's just this gimmick. It's this gimmick. You're just like adding this nature stuff to music. But you know, one thing that's different about my approach is I've written these long, involved, very serious books about music and nature, dealing with birds, whales, and bugs, showing the story of the science, the poetry, and the artistic reflection on these phenomena over the centuries. Like, it's serious stuff that nature has inspired humanity in all art forms more than anything else for centuries. And so the music-nature connection, I think, is always something that's worth uh, investigating. And the more you pay attention to nature is the only way we're going to save it without destroying it. Mm -hmm.